Hi my friends, welcome back. Thanks for supporting this channel. It's really great to see everything you do here from subscribing to give me lots of likes. Today we'll be working with Cartoon Animator 5 software. I want to go over some very important information for people who are considering buying this software. Anyway, we're going to close our panels here and I'm going to put in a better background here. I'm going to open my packs and I recently downloaded this hospital pack and I'll have a better look at it. This looks like the background. I'm going to choose this one here. Opens nice and easy here. And I just want to make this a bit smaller here. So just like this. I want to make sure it's within the blue lines. Otherwise, it will appear in the screen. Just go back like this. And just slowly modify here. Looks good enough. Next thing I want to do is I want to put in a background. So we need to go down here and find one of the rooms. I like this room here. It looks pretty simple and plain. Our character will enjoy this place. Now I forgot to click off it. So Control Z takes away, click off it, and then bring in the room again. That's a common mistake that I make sometimes. I forget to click off it. Now there's our room there. And you can see we have a nice back room in the city. Now I need to click off it again. And I want to bring in some furniture. Or maybe I need a bed to sleep in. Let's just bring this one in here. There's our bed, make it a little bigger. And because it's a hospital, we'll put it maybe against the window. We wanna make sure that our patient has a lot to see there. Now we're gonna go into the characters here. And we're going to look at the G2s and you'll notice one simple thing here in a second. We'll go into the humans. And you've noticed they've completely removed these characters from the software. They're no longer there. If you've purchased a character from one of the vendors in the Reillusion store, it's still available for download because you've purchased it, but most of it has been taken away. I'm just going to go up here to Gary Pye's characters here. So we'll just find him, find his name. And this is all the stuff that I've purchased from him over the years. Just have a look. And I want our G2 characters, which should be in this folder here. And Dan, the everyday man, will bring him out again. One of the best characters in the software that I've seen so far. Really enjoy using him. And here he is in his hospital and he's going to talk about healthcare insurance. Now we're going to click on him and you'll notice that the 3D motion editor is gone. Like you can't see it here. You can find the 2D motion key editor here. But this only allows you to do the 2D mov movements. We'll just go to transformation and it allows you to do these fairly easy. You can put his hand up, you can do whatever you like with it. Control Z, bring it back to normal. And I'm gonna just look around him a little bit here. Really easy to do different customized motions with them once you get them into the software. Raise his arm up as well. There we go. So he looks really good here. Now the thing I found out is that they've totally removed it from the UI here so I can't use it on the interface anymore. I actually have to go up to the animation tab and I have to look for it. So 2D motion key editor, I think it was up here somewhere they said. There it is right here. Now I can bring it out. I would much more prefer they keep it on the toolbar here. It makes things a lot easier and makes workflow a lot easier when you're working with G2 characters. Anyway, we'll just show you what he is. So he's a character that has many different angles on him. These were the best as far as I'm concerned with the software. I don't know why they discontinued development of G2 characters, maybe because it takes too much artistic knowledge. It takes a lot to be able to draw a G2 character because like I said, you have all these different angles here. Anyway, we're going to move over to Cartoon Animator 4. I have Cartoon Animator 5 on this computer, and on my other computer I have Cartoon Animator 4. I want to show you the stuff that's not included in the software anymore.
Hi my friends, we're now working in Cartoon Animator 4. We're going to bring in a suitable scene for the background of this video. Makes it a little nicer to work with, so we'll just scroll down here and download one of the scenes here into our main stage that comes with the software. And here's a nice beach here, we're gonna scroll it. Now one thing you'll notice in Cartoon Animator 5 is that they don't include the G2 characters, which are these characters here. We'll just pull one of them out here, look for our G2s, and here they are here. Now I've always enjoyed the G2 characters because they're 360 characters and they really make a big difference when you're working with animation. Here's Saul here. The other thing you'll notice in Cartoon Animator 5 is you no longer have the 3D motion key editor here. It's disappeared and you can see here, just easy to access and it makes workflow a lot more easy. Everything else is pretty much the same. The other thing we're missing in Cartoon Animator 5 is all the motions that come with the G2 characters. And we're gonna go back to the G1 characters, which are also missing. I'll just show you an example of them. Just keep scrolling back here, and here's the G1s here. These are missing. I'll just bring out one of these characters. I'm gonna ask you what angle, and you can only choose one angle because these are one angle characters. So we'll just leave it at zero. Brings it out real fast. So these are the characters that are also not included. These are only one angle characters. And you can see there's not really much change. They're not really 360 characters. So I like the G2 characters a lot more. The other thing you'll find is that their motions are also not included in the software. So their animations are also gone. The best way to solve this is to take all your files from Cartoon Animator 4 and drag them onto your desktop and save them in a separate file and then you have to manually bring them inside Cartoon Animator 5 if you want to use them. And then also in Cartoon Animator 5 you need to remember that the 3D Motion Key Editor is now found in the Animation tab up here. It's a bit of an inconvenience. I think that Cartoon Animator 5 is sort of a little laggy sometimes to when you're doing a lot of animation. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of our community. Hopefully you've learned something from this video and remember that I will probably do a lot more work later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.